Should I tune my harp in C or in E flat? What does that even mean? And why do people keep on talking about keys? <laughs> you might be feeling very confused, but don't worry, I'm gonna help you figure all of this out today. Hi, I'm Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp, where we like to make learning to play the harp feels simple and doable. So if that feels like something that you need in your life, then consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and click to receive notifications because every week we're uploading new helpful harp videos. Today I'm gonna help you choose whether to tune your harp in C or in E flat and why. And I'm also gonna explain to you what all of this means. So I'm gonna start with a very simple version, just a clear answer for you, whether you should tune in C or in E flat. Um, and if you have a really good musical background, you might understand all the terms I'm talking about, but it's very likely that a lot of it will sound like mumbo jumbo to you. So don't let that stress you out. Just listen for the option that applies for you. And if you want to, really understand what all of this means then um, keep on listening to the rest of the video and I'm going to break it all down and make it sound very simple to understand. So here are my recommendations. If your harp has levers on every string and you want to keep things simple, especially if this is your first time learning an instrument, then I would suggest you tune your harp in C. It's much less confusing. And if you do end up deciding you want to change to tuning in E flat, it's very simple to change. It won't be a problem. Okay, so to tune your harp in C, you can click the link up here and learn to tune your harp in C. If your harp has levers on every string and you have a strong musical background and you think that you'd be frustrated not to be able to play in keys that have flats in it, then I think it would be a good idea for you to tune your harp in E flat right from the start. Ultimately, it's a more flexible key to tune your harp in because you can play in keys that have both sharps and flats. So you may wanna do that right away. You can click through to the video over here where I teach you how to tune in E flat. If you have a harp that has no levers, I would suggest you tune in the key of C. You will still be able to play in other keys, um, but it takes a bit of explaining. So when I've made a video on how to play in every key, even when you don't have levers, I'm gonna link it up here for you. Now your harp may have some levers, but not all of them. So here are some common combinations and the answer of what key you should tune in. If you have a sharpsicle or a harp that just has C and F levers, you would tune to the key of C. So you can click through to that video. If you have a flatsicle or a harp that has F, C, C and B levers, then you have to tune your harp in the key of F. So I would follow the video on how to tune in the key of C. You can go up to that link and then just tune all your B strings to B flats. So that should answer the question for you for most different situations of levers and harps and everything. So hopefully you've got your basic answer now. Um, if you have any other questions about that or you have a different combination of levers, you can pop your question down in the comments and I'll answer it for you there. But now let's get on to what does tuning your harp in the key of C or in the key of E flat really mean? Let's start out by answering the question, what is a key? So a key is a combination of the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And which of them are sharps or flats? Now, what are sharps or flats? So let's explain it by looking at the piano. On a piano, all the white notes are the normal notes, what we call natural notes. And the sharps or flats are the black notes. So for example, if you have an A, a normal A sounds like this and an A sharp is the one that's just to the right of it and up, that's the, the black note next door and it sounds like this. And then an A flat is the one just to the left of it and up and it sounds like this. Okay, so again, here's the sound of an A, here's the sound of an A flat, here's the sound of an A again, and here's the sound of an A sharp. So can you hear how a sharp is higher than, the, than a note and a flat is lower than a note? In sheet music, the sharps and flats are indicated at the beginning of the piece. And for sharps, we have this kind of hash 
or it's like the hashtag we use these days. And for flats, we have these little B signs. So that's a, a flat sign. And we call this indication of the sharps and flats at the beginning of the piece, we call that the, the key signature. It tells us the key. And the most common key you'll play in in the beginning is C major, which has no sharps or flats. So you may be reading beginner sheet music and not even realize that there's such a thing as a key signature because the key signature has no sharps or flats, so it looks like nothing. So how do we play in a key? On the piano, you can play in a key by just choosing the appropriate black or white note at the right time, because you have all the flats and sharps and natural notes sitting right there. But with a harp, we only have one string for each note of the, the musical alphabet, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we have to set the harp in the key before we start playing. And the reason for this is because on the piano, we have three options for every note. We can have either the natural, like the A natural, you can have the A flat, or you can have the A sharp. But on the harp, on the lever harp, you have your A string, for example, and then you have two options only. You can put the lever up or you can have the lever down. So I can only have either an A and an A sharp, or if I tune my harp differently, I could have an A flat and an A natural. There's only two options. So that means that the key we tune our harp in affects which keys we can then set our harp in using the levers. So it's very important which key you choose to tune your harp in. Let me show you what I mean. If we want to play a D major scale, so we're playing a series of notes in the key of D, it will look like this in the sheet music. So you can see that it has F sharps and C sharps. Now on the piano, if I want to play this piece of music, I just play every note. I play a D, an E, an F sharp. I just make sure I choose that F sharp. And then later on, I make sure I choose the C sharp. So it will sound like this. But on a harp, if I want to play a D major scale and make sure I have those F sharps and C sharps, I have to set the levers like this, my C levers and F levers to become sharps. And then when we play the scale, we just play D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and we automatically have the sharps like this. Just a little side note, even if you're not using sheet music, you'll still want to play in different keys with your harp. So it's still important to understand this information. So what keys can I play in with a lever harp? If I put all my F sharps up, now my harp is in G major. It's got that nice F sharp. If I put all my C sharps up as well, now my harp is in D major. If you like, you can also add all the G sharps. There we go. Now I'm in A major. Now with the harp, when you engage a lever, you make the note a half step higher, but you can't make the note a half step lower. So for example, if I have an A string here and I engage the lever, it becomes an A sharp. And if I bring it back down again, it becomes an A natural but I can't make it into an A flat. It, I can't make it any lower. But what about the key of F? Um, that's quite a common key. And if you know your music theory, you'll know that F major has a B flat in it. And if you want to play an F, uh, you, might, you might likely find music where you want to play an F major, or maybe you're going to play with a guitarist and they are using their capo and they end up telling you that you're playing an F major or in B flat or some other key that has flats in it. What are you going to do? The fact that we only have two positions and the lever only makes things uh, a half step higher, does that mean that I can never play in keys that have flats? Can you play in a flat key with a lever harp? Thankfully, you can play in keys that have flats in them. It just means that you have to tune your harp so that when the lever is up, it's a natural note. And that would mean that when you put the lever down, 
it goes down a half step and you then have your flat. So for example, in the key of F, you would want your B strings to be B naturals when they're up. And then when you put it down, it becomes a B flat. Another way to explain this is to say that we permanently tune that string to be a flat. And then when we raise it, it becomes a natural. Out of the seven musical notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it would be helpful if we can tune some of those to be naturals and then they can either be a natural or a sharp when we raise the lever and to tune some of them to be flats so that they can be either flats or to become naturals when we raise the lever and if we're smart about which ones we choose that will enable us to be able to play in keys that either have sharps or to play in keys that have flats. I've moved across to my other half for the rest of the explanation. So because flat keys are not quite as common as sharp keys, we choose to tune three of our strings or three of the notes to be flats and four of them to be sharps. So that means I tune my Bs to be B flats, my Es to be E flats and my As to be A flats. And then the rest of the strings are naturals. So I have a C natural, a D natural, an F natural, and a G natural. This harp is already tuned that way, so that's why I'm using this harp for the explanation now. This harp is known as being tuned in the key of E flat, because when all my levers are down, I have B flats, E flats, and A flats, and that's the flats I need to play in E flat major. So if you look in the key signature in sheet music, when you see B flats, E flats, and A flats at the beginning there, it's indicating that we're in the key of E flat. So that means that now my harp is tuned in the key of E flat. When all the levers are down, it's in E flat major. Just a little note, when my harp is in the key of is tuned in the key of E flat, that doesn't mean that my C strings become E flats. It just means that the strings we've chosen to tune as flats match the pattern of flats in E flat major. So if you want to play in the key of C on this harp, then that means that I need to put the B flat levers, the B levers up to change that B to be a B natural. I need to put the E levers up to change that E flat to be an E natural and the A levers up to change that A flat into an A natural. So I would do that on all the, the E's, B's and A's on my harp. And now I'm in the key of C. So for every octave, I've got one, two, three levers up and now it sounds like a C scale. Because remember the key of C is the one that has no sharps or flats. I've grabbed my other harp again so that I can show you a comparison of what it sounds like when a harp is in C versus in E flat. So we can check what key our harp is in by playing a scale that starts on that particular note. So if I want to check that this harp is in the key of C, I play a C scale. It sounds happy and bright and cheerful. If I try doing the same thing on this harp, playing a C scale. Can you hear it sounds a little bit different? It sounds more sad and it sounds more like a minor instead of a major. But since I know that this harp is tuned in E flat, if I try playing an, uh, a scale on starting on E, Now it's got that happy major sound again. So when you find this, the scale that sounds happy like that, then you know that that's the key your harp is tuned in. So this one's in E flat and this one is in C. So now you know what it means to be tuned in a key. And I've given you the suggestions of which key to tune your harp in, C or E flat. Um, you can click up in the cards to go to the video where it actually takes you step by step through tuning your harp in the key of C or tuning your harp in the key of E flat. And I'll see you in that video. I hope today's video helped to make things a little bit clearer for you, but I haven't covered absolutely everything. So there might still be some things that you don't really understand. And if so, I'd love to answer those questions for you. So please put your questions down in the comments below and I'll answer them if I can, or I'll make a follow up video to 
answer the questions that I didn't cover in today's video. Now, if you want to get a step-by-step -step of how to tune your harp in the key of C, you can click that video over there. And to tune your harp in the key of E flat, you can click that video over there. And also make sure you subscribe. You can click the button down there and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.